Hey there, everyone. What's growing on? Um, today I'm just going to show you my ground cherry plants and to show you all the cherries that are on there. Um, so this one is the Physalis prunosa. I've come to realize that these fruits for this variety are just really small. Um, as you can see, the leaves on this aren't very big and you'll see when it compared to the next variety um, you see the size difference, but I'm just showing you all the lanterns that are growing on here that are but um there's just so many of them there's at least at the very least 20 i didn't actually count all of them but there's a baby one right there and um when i in my previous videos i've been saying that i've been picking all the flowers off because i wanted this plant to grow larger um hoping that it'll grow some bigger fruit because i thought they were so small because this was a very very young plant and there's few more and then an open flower it's really pretty and so I thought if I let it grow a little bit bigger you know the fruits would, go, would be bigger and not because I thought they were so small just because the pl they started flowering and putting out fruit really really early on and they were actually quite small when they're really I mean um, er very early on but um, but I've also realized that they do don't grow very large and so here's a whole, you know, I'm showing you all the different, um, where all the um, lanterns are. And you just see, as you can see, as I'm flipping over each branch, there's so many, just so many flowers and lanterns growing at the same time. It's just amazing how many it puts out and how quickly it puts them out. And so, yeah, I've come to realize that the, they just, this right just doesn't get very big. So as you can see, they are quite small. And, um, but they do get filled, I mean, at least, the, I mean, um, the lanterns, they, they do get filled out. Because once the lanterns stop growing, um, the berries inside of it start to grow bigger and bigger and bigger until, you know, the husk completely dries and the thing falls off. But, as you can see, I'm showing you all the, um, all the lanterns are on here. And it's just, you know, I got, probably should have counted it, but counted how many there are but here I just wanted to show you just how many there are on this one plant um, at one time and of course they're all at different stages some uh, many of them are, are babies but a lot of these are getting close to at least the lantern not growing any much not growing much larger and um, you see the flower and the baby ones right there and then I'm um, getting to the last I think the last branch and so I just wanted to show you that um, for this one. And then I'm going to go and show you the next, the, the other variety. And here is this one, which is the, um, oh gosh, Peruviana variety. And, you know, just from the bat, right off the bat, you can see the leaves and how different it grows. It grows taller. The leaves are much bigger. The leaves are very velvet, velvety soft. And there's a, one of the, the, the first flower that's open on this one. And I was so excited. Um, <laughs> you can't you can't imagine my excitement when I first saw that um, that it opened. And this was July second. Um, I saw the first flower bud June twenty first. So it took about what um, almost ten days, and uh, or just about actually eleven days, but for it to actually open. And so here I'm just showing you the um, few other buds that it's got. And, um, but only you other gardeners can understand the excitement one has when you go out in the morning and you see something new, a, you know, a new flower or a new fruit, or you see a fruit forming. And, um, and, uh, I, and I know, I know you gardeners w understand the excitement, <laughs> right? That, um, so, especially this is something I've never grown before. It's my first time growing it, so I've never, you know, and first time really experiencing the fruit as well because the first time I experienced it was uh, earlier this year when I saw the fruit in um, the store and I bought, bought some. And um, this was after I had already bought the seeds. And so even though I hadn't tried them before, never, never had the fruit before, but I wanted to try and grow them and see what they were like. And I'm, you know, I'm so glad I did. But so here's that first flower, and um, you know what? Actually, it has actually since fallen off. Um, I don't know why, but 
for whatever reason it did not get pollinated so the flower fell off and here is the prunosa plant I wanted to show you the size difference of the flower and so here if you look at the size of this flower on the prunosa plant um, you see where, how compared to my index finger the size of it and now I'm going to show you again the size of the uh, Peruviana variety you see the difference? This is the flower is about twice the size of this prunosa variety, and um, so that definitely tells you the fruit is going to be quite larger than what you see here on this one, on this plant. Just just from the size of the flower alone, I mean this one is like two times smaller than the other one. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to do brief one to show you all the lanterns that are on and the difference um, again between the two varieties and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye bye!